Hi, my name is Heather Ladebor. I'm the owner of momforlife.com, a website that focuses exclusively on unique and useful mom inventor products. The product that I'd like to introduce to you today is a line of products uh, created by a mom named Eileen, who when she was pregnant with her first child, she started researching and learning more about the potentially harmful effects of radiation. And as she was reading and learning more, she became concerned about the amount of uh, low-level radiation that we're exposed to in our everyday lives. And she wanted to know if there was a way to protect her developing baby um, from these uh, radiation waves. And she started uh, working on developing a product that could do this. Eileen partnered with an industrial engineering firm to develop a technology that she could use during her everyday activities that would effectively shield this type of radiation. Now, this is a concept that was brand new to me when I first came across this product, and I had to kind of think about um, my understanding of it, my uh, level of knowledge uh, surrounding this type of radiation, and there's two main types of radiation. One is non-ionizing radiation, and this is a low-level radiation that you're gonna find in things like your cell phones, your laptop computers, um, microwaves, everyday uh, products that we use, televisions, power lines, just to name a few. Then you have your ionizing radiation, and these are higher concentration levels of radiation, and you would get these in a form such as an x-ray at the doctor or your dentist office. Ionizing radiation is, is much higher exposure, much higher levels, higher concern. Thankfully, we're exposed uh, much less to these type of radiation. Um, so what do we do about the non-ionizing radiation and the exposure level? I started doing some research. Um, I have a iPhone. And so I went online to find out what uh, Apple had to say about the iPhone and the levels of radiation that were present in it. And I found this in their use usage guide. It said, um, if you're concerned about the exposure to the energy, you can limit your exposure by limiting the amount of time using the iPhone, since time is a factor in how much exposure a person receives and by using a hands-free device and placing more distance between your body and the iPhone since exposure levels drop dramatically with distance. So then I was thinking more about my laptop because this is probably what I use most frequently in my daily life and I have the most exposure to. And being pregnant now um, and on bed rest, I'm often sitting on my bed or on the couch and have the laptop on my lap. And so I looked up in the use and care guide uh, for my Apple computer, and this is what it said there. The radiated output and power um, is below the FCC radio frequency exposure limits. Nevertheless, it is advised to use the wireless equipment in such a manner that the potential for human contact during normal operation is minimized. So the overarching theme that I was getting was that um, the exposure duration and the proximity to the um, the item that's emitting these rays um, are important factors. So for me this meant when I'm not using my cell phone to keep it away from my body. Um, I try not to carry it right in my pocket anymore. I put it in my purse on the other seat in the car or I set it down somewhere else in the house and I don't carry it around on me. For my laptop, however, um, when I'm in bed and I need to use it, it's really hard to avoid having it close to my body. So this is where I have found Eileen's product to be especially beneficial for me. And I have been using um, the blanket that she offers. And it fits just right over. It's, it's a nice, uh, generous size. And it fits right over my belly and it effectively blocks any of the rays from going through the blanket. 
To know whether or not the blanket's working properly, it's easy to perform the cell phone test. And to do that, you just turn on your cell phone, wrap it up in the blanket, and then you check on it after a few seconds and you'll see that the bars showing how much um, cell phone um, range it, it is receiving from the towers, um, it'll go to no service. And so I knew that it wasn't receiving um, any of the power from the transmitters and it showed to me that it was effectively blocking um, any of that transmission. Now aside from the blankets, Eileen also developed a wide range of products including belly bands and t-shirts. So depending on the way that you use technology and the type of exposure that you have, you can choose which product would be best for you. So. I think the jury's still out on how much um, this type of radiation will be a factor for developing babies for our own personal safety. It's a relatively new um, field of study and research, but for myself, I felt like if there was something that I could do um, to prevent the exposure, then it would be prudent and wise to do so. So I'm glad that she made this this line of products available to moms so that we can have that choice and actively decide um, if this is something that we'd like to use as well. Thanks, Eileen. <music>